पॉइंट फोर रमानुजन वन मॉर्निंग अर्ली इन नाइनटीन थर्टी हार्डी फाउंड अमंग अमंग द लेटर्स ऑन हिज ब्रेकफास्ट टेबल अ लार्ज अनटाइडी एंड वलप डेकोरेटेड विद इंडियन स्टैम्प्स वेन ही ओपन इट ही फाउंड शीट्स ऑफ पेपर बाय नो मीन्स क्लीन ऑन विच इन a non english script were line after line of symbols hardy glanced at them without enthusiasm he felt more than anything bored he glanced at the letter written in halting english signed by an unknown indian asking him to give an opinion of these mathematical discoveries the script appeared to consist of theorems most of them wild or fantastic looking one or two already well known laid out as true they were original there were no proofs of any kind like a curious kind of fraud he put the manuscript aside and went on with his day's routine after lunch he loped off for a game of real tennis in the university court if it had been summer he would have walked down to furnace to watch cricket in the late afternoon he strolled back to his rooms the particular day through wild timetable wasn't altered internally things were not going according to plan at the back of his mind getting in the way of his complete pleasure in his game the indian manuscript nagged away wild theorems theorems such as he had never seen before nor imagined a fraud of genius a question was forming itself with epigrammatic cl- clarity is a fraud of genius more probable than an unknown mathematician of genius clearly the answer was no back in his rooms in it trinity he had another look at the script he sent word to little wood probably by messenger certainly not by telephone for which like all mechanical contrivances including fountain pens he had a deep distrust that they must have a discussion after hall before midnight they knew and knew for certain the writer of these manuscripts was a man of genius that was as much as they could judge that night it was only later that hardy decided that ramanujan was in terms of natural mathematical genius in the class of course and euler but that he could not expect because of the defects of his education and because he had come on the scene too late in the line of mathematical history to make contribution on the same scale the following day hardy went into action ramanujan must, must be brought to england hardy decided money was not a major problem trinity had usually been good at supporting orthodox talent the college had been the same for kapitsa a few years later once hardy was determined no human agency could have stopped ramanujan but they needed certain amount of help from a superhuman one Ramanujan turned out to be a poor clerk in Madras Chennai living with his wife on 20 pounds a year 
he was usually strict about his religious observances with a mother who was even stricter it seemed impossible that he could break the ban and cross the water fortunately his mother had the highest respect for the goddess of namakkal one morning ramanujan's mother made a startling announcement she had a dream the previous night in which she saw her son seated in a big hall among a group of europeans and the goddess of namakkal had commanded her not to stand in the way of her son fulfilling his life's purpose this say ramanujan's indian bi- biographers was a very ag- agreeable surprise to all concerned in 1914 ramanujan arrived in england so far as hardy could detect though in this respect i should not trust his insight far ramanujan despite the difficulties of breaking the caste laws did not believe much in theological doctrine except for a vague pantheistic benelolens any more than hardy did himself but he did certainly believe in ritual when trinity put him up in college within 4 years he became a fellow there was no allen san eben self indulgence for him at all hardy used to find him ritually changed into his pajamas cooking vegetables rather miserably in a frying pan in his own room their association was strangely touching one hardy did not forget that he was in the presence of a genius but genius that was even in mathematics almost untrained ramanujan had not been able to enter madras chennai university because he could not matriculate in english according to hardy's report he was always amiable and good natured but no doubt he sometimes found hardy's conversation outside mathematics more than a little baffling he seems to have listened with a patient smile on his good friendly homely face even inside mathematics they had to come to terms with the difference in their education ramanujan was self taught he knew nothing of the modern rigor in a sense he didn't know what a proof was in an uncharacteristically sentimental moment hardy once wrote that if he had been better educated he would have been less ramanujan coming back to his ironic senses in fact hardy was obliged to teach him some formal mathematics as though ramanujan had been a scholarship candidate at winchester hardy said that this was the most singular experience of his life what did modern mathematics look like to someone who had the deepest insight but who had literally never heard of most of it it is good to remember that england gave ramanujan such honors as were possible the royal society elected him a fellow at the age of 30 which even for a mathematician is very young trinity also elected him a fellow in the same year he was the first indian to be given either of these distinctions he was immeasurably grateful but he soon became ill adi used to visit him as he lay dying in hospital at putney 
it was on one of those visits that what happened the incident of the taxi cab number hardy had gone out to putne by taxi as usual his chosen method of conveyance he went into the room where ramanujan was lying hardy always clumsy about introducing a conversation said probably without a greeting and certainly as his first remark the number of my taxi cab was 1729 it seemed to be rather a dull number to which ramanujan replied no hardy it is a very interesting number it is the smallest number expressible as the sum of two cubes in two different ways it was difficult in war time to move ramanujan to a kinder climate he died of tuberculosis back in madras chennai two years after the war as hardy wrote in the apology his roll call of mathematicians galois died at 21 abel at 27 ramanujan at 33 remen at 40 I do not know an instance of a major mathematical advance initiated by a man past 50. What did the manuscript contain? Godfrey Hard Old Hardy FRS 1877 to 1947 an English mathematician manuscript a hand written document lopped off moved along with long easy steps why could hardy not enjoy his game altered changed nagged away annoyed by puzzling epigrammatic short and witty expression clarity clearness j e littlewood an english mathematician contrivances appliances gadgets after hall after dinner in the dining hall what did the two english mathematicians realize by midnight goss german mathematician a ruler swiss mathematician what were the two drawbacks in raman ramanujan's career tapesta soviet psychist a nobel laureate what superstition did ramanujan's mother believe in cross the water travel across the sea ocean mak district in tamil nadu startling surprising what surprised everyone one morning insight deep understanding logical doctrine set of beliefs about god and religion pantheistic benelolens born out of many gods alan saint oben fellow of trinity self indulgence doing something for one's own pleasure and satisfaction amiable pleasant and friendly baffling strange and difficult to come to terms with to accept gradually rigor harsh difficult condition or concepts sentimental full of emotions ironic opposite of what is expressed what did hardy have to teach ramanujan why does he call in an unusual experience why does he call it an unusual experience a fellow an award title and honor given by the royal society england convenes your a vehicle can you work out the sum of cubes in two different ways which equals 1729 what is exceptional about the number 1729 the war World War 1 1914 to 
Galois, French mathematician, Abel, Norwegian mathematician. Students, if you like the video, do hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.